G'day guys, Stephen Bourne here from the Ausbuild Investor Team. The property market is pumping. So I'm here to give you a quick overview of the market in our estates. Polara. January 2022 was the last month that Polara's median sale price was below 700,000. Since then, it's grown an incredible 32% to 911,000. Ausbuild continues to see strong inquiry for Polara packages with most estates currently being developed already sold out. We are seeing a much higher interest from Chinese buyers in a market that has historically been dominated by Indian buyers. This is largely given the attractive price point compared to the likes of Rochdale. Heathwood, like Polara, is very quickly selling out. In an ideal situation, being well elevated within minutes of the popular Forest Lake retail and education precinct, Heathwood is particularly seeing interest from the Vietnamese, Chinese and Indian communities. The median sale price has basically increased by 300,000 in the past three years and currently sits at 900,000 with very solid buyer depth. Four bedroom rents have increased by a little over 12% in the past year, which also further underpins the investment. Nevertheless, Heathwood will primarily be a capital growth play over the next five to 10 years as we approach the Olympics. Morayfield. The Morayfield market is coming along in leaps and bounds with strong resale evidence in the established market underpinning package values. Since the onset of COVID in March, 2020, the Morayfield median sale price has risen close to 80%. Land is literally flying out the door with whole releases sold out well prior to registration now commonplace. This market is driven by the affordable price point, a quiet neighborhood in an owner occupier centric pocket and proximity to services, amenities and the Sunshine Coast. Tigum. The question with Tigum is very simple. Where else do you buy land this close to the CBD and literally only minutes away from the esplanades of Sandgate and Shawncliffe? With a vacancy rate of 0.6%, a gentrifying demographic and easy proximity to schools and shops, the Tigum value proposition is compelling. Couple this with quickly diminishing supply of land close to the CBD, and you can quickly realise that the long-term fundamentals for Tigan in terms of capital growth are excellent. We've had valuation support in this estate, which is always encouraging to see. Warner. Since mid-2023, it would be fair to say that our sanctuary Warner estate has literally flown out the door, underpinned by very strong owner-occupied demand. This market is increasingly cashed up, middle-class buyers with strong jobs and plenty of equity. The median sale price in March 2020 was 530,000. It has now risen to 850,000. The buyer depth for this market is excellent with realestate.com reporting 57 buyers per listing on average. The vacancy rate for Warner is incredibly low, currently sitting at 0.5% which is almost a staggering quarter of the long-term average for the suburb. On realestate.com, there are literally only five four-bedroom properties on standard lots for rent within the suburb, so it's no wonder rents are going up. The Warner retail market for established properties continues to perform incredibly well, with plenty of sales evidence showing strong growth in property values of late. So guys, hopefully that's been a helpful market update. Plenty happening in the property market. As always, if you need anything, please reach out to our team for further information. Thanks guys.